Hey everyone and welcome back. Uh, it's been a few days here since I've had a chance to do a video and I actually have been having some problems with my BCX and accuracy. So um, I'm doing a review on the bow that I am currently using to hunt. And that is a follow-up review of the Centerpoint Amped 425. Now I got this thing on a clearance deal. Uh, I don't even remember for sure how much it was, 300 and something. Uh, but for the price, it is an extremely accurate bow, guys. I actually really, really like this thing. Um, it looks cool, one. But two, it's got the adjustable stock, right? I like the stirrup that folds so that it can sit down. It also works as a stand, which is very nice. Uh, but there are some downsides. So I want to talk about those things and just kind of look at the bow here in general and discuss it uh, as a like a follow-up video, right? Um, a follow-up to the first one that I did a few weeks ago. It might even be a month ago now. Uh, but now that I'm using this regularly, I feel like I got a little more input on it. So we're gonna go ahead and start with just how it looks, right guys? It looks cool. It's got kind of a assault rifle look to it. Um, it's just a very slick crossbow, right? So, here is that stirrup that folds down and you can use it as a stand. That's very handy, guys. I use that quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, moving back, your hand grip is nothing special. Uh, at first, I did not like this, uh, but it's kind of grown on me. You can see all those ridges. I didn't like that at first, but I actually do like it now. Um, this is where your quiver attaches, right here. It just slides in. You can see that there. Slides in right there, guys. And that's, it's a little hard to do in the dark, I would say, when you're getting down out of your blind, but it's not bad. I mean, all of them are kind of hard to do in the dark. So the scope, it looks basic, guys, but it's actually an illuminated scope, and it's got pretty good magnification, right? So I don't know. I've never really been able to do this very well. Uh, but that's the scope, okay? It's got circles in there that illuminate. I did want to talk about this handle. It's kind of got a rubberized handle. It's actually quite comfortable. Um, and then, of course, you got your adjustable butt stock here, right? Now, this thing is fast. I can't measure exact speeds right, but uh, they're boasting like a 415 probably would be around what I'm getting. Again, I don't know that for sure, but I'm just using the bolts that they sent with it, uh, and those seem to work pretty good. I did have one break in the target. Um, the insert at the end came out in the target, and that was that. So that is one thing that's happened that I don't love. Now, if you look right here, instead of like a, a piece of plastic that comes down or a brush, they have this little ball that holds your arrow in place. I actually really, really like that. It's quiet and it's smooth. I really, really like that. Now, a couple of things that I don't like, okay? Now again, for the price, there's always gonna be something you don't like. I think any bow, there's going to be something you don't like usually. But here are the things that I don't like about the AM425. One, this butt stock is kind of loud. Um, it's hard to... And when you're walking, that actually rattles a little bit. Um, the adjustment's really cool. And then you can see here, you can adjust it up and down as well but that does rattle quite a bit. Second complaint, guys, this safety has to be the loudest safety I've ever heard in my life. Um, it's like get up in your blind and put it on fire and know it's on fire because that thing, if you click that thing when there's a deer by, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's gone. It's just too loud. Another complaint, the trigger, it's just kind of a cheap plasticky trigger. Uh, on such a nice crossbow, I'd like to see them kind of upgrade the trigger just a little bit, right? Um, I feel 
feel like that is the weakest point on this is the trigger. Now, not something that's bad. Those were the things that I don't like, right? Oh, there's one more. One more thing. Let me show you that real quick. I almost forgot. It's it's not the bow itself. It's the quiver. And I think you can fix this by pulling it out, but I'm, I'm going to show you something here. So these are the bolts here. You can see here my insert came off in the target. So that arrow is basically shot for now. Um, but the foam, the foam in this is extremely tough and it comes up almost to the top of the quiver end there so as you can see my broadheads are sticking way out now you can adjust this right and i need to slide it up but when you're trying to put this on and kind of in the low light you're trying to slide that on i actually grabbed my broadhead last night and amazingly did not slice my finger open so the quiver is really nice except for that foam i think that needs to be cut down you know to in here somewhere so those broad heads are down in there and you're not going to cut yourself and my final thought on this guys is it is loud and i mean very loud um it's deadly accurate i mean i I'm shocked with how accurate this crossbow is for the speed that it's ripping out there. I mean, it, it's it's very accurate. But when I shoot it, it actually kind of leaves a ring in my ear, um, which uh, reminds me a lot of shooting like a like a 22, uh, maybe a little bit higher caliber than even that. It leaves you with a little ring, nothing bad, right? But it's uh, it's definitely noisy, so. That would be pretty much my thoughts on this bow. It's accurate. I like how it feels. I like the stirrup that, you know, you can use as a stand or as a tripod. Uh, the scope, I really like the scope. The magnification, magnification is great and the illumination is awesome. Different settings on that, of course. But then, you know, you have your downsides. You have a cheap feeling trigger. You have a very loud safety. You have a butt stock that rattles and you got, it's loud. Whew, I can't, it is loud. Now, my thought with a crossbow is if you need more than one shot, then you're probably not taking a good shot. Um, and that's not always the case, right? There's exceptions, but you know, if we're keeping it 20 to 30 yards with a crossbow, you're probably getting only one shot anyways. So. That is my thoughts on this bow. Uh, guys, if you get a good deal on it, I'm gonna say pick it up and you probably won't be disappointed, right? Um, when I bought this one, it did have a chipped handguard. So it's actually hard to tell, but right there, that's supposed to come down more. You can see there, obviously not a big deal. But I did send a note to Centerpoint. Now it took about three weeks to get a response from them. Again, hunting season, right? I'm sure things are very busy. But they just sent me back a thing that said, your part is shipped. And I actually have received a new guard. That, you know, just, they sent me a whole new guard because that one little piece was cracked. So no questions asked. They just said, yep, here you go. So overall, my experience with Centerpoint and the Amped 425 has been very positive, guys. Um, I don't have lighted knocks for it yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get any. Um, I'm starting to lean more and more towards not using lighted knocks, uh, especially when I get that BCX going again. I, I won't be using them for that. So maybe I just kind of save some money and don't use them, right? Um, but thanks for coming and checking it out. If you were thinking about this crossbow, guys, uh, I wanna think twice about it. I'm actually quite impressed. Um, it's my first center point, and I will probably be looking to add another one to my collection at some point, right? Because um, can you ever have too many crossbows? I don't think so. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for checking out the video. We'll catch you next time. If you can, like and subscribe. It always helps, guys. Um, as much as I'd like to be able to buy every crossbow I get, um, it's unrealistic, right? Uh, if I'm going to review more. I need more subscribers, more views, and then companies are more willing to let me try stuff out. 
Full disclosure, I purchased this one with my own money. We'll catch you on the next one.